So Apple have had a pretty hard time in the press as of late, starting off of course with their iCloud security coming into question and now with the latest iPhone being unintentionally bendy, inspiring of course the hashtags Bendgate and one which I particularly enjoy, Bendgazi. Um, it's really got me thinking about smartphones. Now, I've never really been a fan of smartphones. I don't like the idea of having all that social media in your pocket, mainly because I do so much work on social media. I like to take the opportunity just to get away from it whenever I can. That being said, I do have a tablet and that pretty much secures every need I have to connect on the go. So I've been pretty happy for the last couple of years with the good old Nokia 3310. I say the past couple of years, it's been my phone of choice mostly for the last 10 years. Um, and it's not exactly this phone, of course, they kind of get lost, fall in rivers and all that kind of stuff over time. But this is uh, one that's probably for the best part of four years old and I bought that second hand for about £10. Now I've upgraded the battery to a 1200 um, milliamp hour battery which is a big step up from the default one. I effectively have to charge this around two times a week and uh, I can use it pretty much as much as I like out of that. It's also pretty damn sturdy. Um, yeah, you won't sort of have any problems with this old Nokia 3310 bending in your pocket. In fact, um, I mean, it won't. I mean, it, um, it won't. It won't bend at all. This, ow, is, is a us. This is a good phone. This is a. I mean, you will. You know, this is a. We we had phone design down ten years ago. This is about how old the model is. The old thirty three ten. Yeah, I mean, there are upgrades. Like I said, I upgraded the battery. And um, again, one of the other benefits of this phone is that the th the actual complete phone cases are completely interchangeable. I can't really get this off. Oh, there it is. Like so. And you can replace them. They only take... Um, they only cost about two British pounds to replace a cover. A battery, well, this battery, which was 1200 milliamp hours, was about six pounds, seven pounds. But you can get cheaper batteries if you're willing to have them maybe not last as long. But a phone that you only need to charge up twice a week, if that, I mean, there are some serious benefits to that. Uh, for a start, it means that I don't have to worry about bringing a charger whenever I go on conference trips. Conference trips usually last for four days from uh, Friday to Monday. And uh, it's really quite beneficial. It's just one less thing to have to remember if you don't have to worry about bringing a charger. You just charge it up, takes about three hours to charge up, and then you're good to go for, for four days easy, really. Uh, it's on three out of four bars, and this is... This is about day three of without having to charge it. So that's not bad. That's really quite good, actually. Uh, now, it's currently on the Gift Gaff network. Now, most of the 3310s in circulation nowadays are also unlocked, which means that you can very easily change from provider to provider. In fact, I recently changed from EE to uh, Gift Gaff. Now, Gift Gaff is a, uh, it's a British network that uses the O2 uh, structure, which means that you've kind of always got a signal for whatever it is you need, and they're actually very reasonably priced. I recently switched over to them uh, for a number of reasons. One, that they're cheaper. Two, that they use a better network so I can get better signal uh, wherever I go. Uh, and also they have an online dashboard so that I don't have to worry about using um, what was T-Mobile's antiquated uh, press one for this option system, press two for this option system. It's just nice to be able to go online. Uh, you can change your package and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not a sales rep for either a Nokia 3310 because, you know, they exist, don't they? <laughs> or GIF GAF. Um, but uh, I've got to say, you know, when you have a device that um, that has done the job that you've set out to allow it to do, um, I kind of feel that putting extra features on top of that now is really just overdoing it. It's making something more expensive and, well, even more functional than it needs to be. I guess the point that I'm trying to make in this video is that often we feel we need to solve problems that might not necessarily exist. Feel the need to perhaps hop on bandwagons and trains simply because it looks like other people are benefiting it from it and therefore we might as well. But I think that it's always worthwhile to take stock and look at the real problems in our life that need solving. And, well, 
I guess the problems that I have in my life aren't really going to be solved by readily available access to Facebook and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's just me. I've got to say, very happy with the old 3310, 10 years after it's, uh, you know, brought into the marketplace. And uh, I don't really have any inclination to give it up whatsoever. I've got a nice uh, full full set of bars on the signal, three out of four bars on the battery after about two days of use. And um, it's got all the amenities, phone call, text messaging, even got a calendar on it of all things. You can play a few rudimentary games, um, although I've got to admit they're not really my thing. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so what kind of phone are you guys sporting? And also, what was the uh, reasoning for you choosing that particular model? Do you use a smartphone because you actually get the use out of it, get the mileage out of it? Because about as involved as I am professionally with social media, I got to admit, taking a break whenever I can is something that I think I need to do rather than something that I want to do at times. But like I said, let me know what kind of phone you're sporting down in the comment section below and let me know if you've had any particular problems with it or if there's a particular model you have your eye on. And uh, that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll leave you with this clip with a particular function of this phone which you might not necessarily have assumed it came with but one which I have found infinitely useful. He's got a duck here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, I've to disarm you some that. No, it didn't work. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> Find the weak point. Okay. The next point. See you in the next video.